Wow, that was fantastic. What a way to start a day. I mean, I usually do the move movement because yoga is essentially the movement of breathing, right? It's like when I wake up, like I do the tapping and I do like stretch a little bit, but I think looking at these, Check this out. This is fantastic. This, is, this looks like a this looks like a uh, spirited away if you're a fan of gibbery. And then you have to hold your breath. If you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, welcome to the video. Currently I'm in Ubud Bali and this is gonna be a vlog that we're gonna explore the Bali in Ubud. And uh, yeah, we just start a day with the nice uh, Vinyasana yoga, I believe. And uh, we're gonna go back to the hotel. Well, I'm hungry. We should definitely grab some like food. We should, def <laughs> we should definitely grab some food. There's like a few cafes over there and we're gonna grab food. And if you're good, caffeinate it, that's for real. And I'll show you guys what my day looks like in it good. All right. Right, we're about to eat Nashi. Wait, was it Nashi Sate Ayum? Something like that. Man, you know what I realized though? I think the reason why people love Southeast Asia, Thailand, and Bali so much, specifically Bali, is because you don't get rejected that often. Right? If you're in the US, I've been to US so many times, right? New York, Los Angeles, whatever it is. And in Tokyo as well, like you get rejected by the attitude. You know, when you like smile, perhaps the, the people who work at the cafe in Tokyo, they don't really smile to you. They're just like, hey, what's up? What you want? Like, you know, and then, and that's the cool thing about working in a cafe in Tokyo. Oh, you're cool, right? And I think when I was young, I had that too, right? You know, you're working in the bar, cool bar, whatever. But then the people cannot be open to, to these people to, to socialize because they feel rejected. And I think in Bali, people are smiling and people, you know, really, really genuine to you. Just simple conversation and simple engagement can be very accepted. And I think that coming from that, those experiences, the repetition of just being accepted at the cafe or at the, I don't know, supermarket, pretty much whatever that is, then you feel very open to socialize and to be open to be who you are in that present moment. I think that's the beauty and then I personally also enjoy that, like being accepted in a constant basis, day to day basis, just simply, you know, people smile at you and people will just accept you for who you are. And I think if you have something to offer and additionally, then people would more appreciate too. People will appreciate you more, right? So that is a great speech before the meal. Really good. Well. It was a great, great food, great people. Always get accepted for who you are here. And I highly recommend the people to come in. And especially if you live in a city where people are just always mad for no reason and just, you know, give you an attitude. I think it's not a great feeling. Look at, check this out. Watch out. Back to the hotel and I'm gonna film YouTube.
you're supposed to take a vlog. But we go. Let's go. Let's go on and like on a thinking ball. Doggy. What are you eating? What are you eating, doggy? Alright guys, we're in the night in the Obor. I need to get a singing bowl. That is amazing. We're gonna walk like a... We're gonna walk like a... T we're gonna walk like a 10 minutes and we are going to get... Oh. I don't know how to make a sound with this. Those are singing balls as well. This is not what we thought. We could have a look though. This is beautiful. Tibetan, uh, what's the difference? I mean, let's check this out. I mean, it's super close anyway. Open. I think. It's fine. I think I enjoy the higher pitch. I like this. Thank you. Hi, good evening. Hello. It's like I'm looking for a one. Something, uh, maybe you can help me out. Do you mind if we are filming? Is that okay? Yes, you can try before. If you think, uh, which one you like. Yeah, like I really like that. Oh, these are beauty. Yeah. Like some, something in around this size. Something like this size? Yeah. It's you can, you can try it. True. I really like the uh, the one in, uh, over there, just the higher pitch. This is what? Machine made. Machine made? Yes. Oh, it's not handmade? No, the, uh, like this is the handmade. Like oh, this and okay. then in the front. There is only handmade too? So. Yes. <laughs> I like I see the geometry right now. You see that everything is a frequency, right? And then like the the vision, the sound can be vision when you actually accept that whatever the experience that you're experiencing, I just saw it in it. But the first time I experienced the the sound as in a vision, it was in Mexico when I did a DMT, the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I just saw it geometric thing right there. So I think that's a good sign. Yep. Well, uh, <laughs> I thought that's gonna be a bit longer, but now I, I'm taking this one. That's it? Yeah, because it, it just resonated with me. You see, this is a holy thing. But it's a handmade, right? It's beautiful, there's a little bit of like, Imperfectly perfect. No, perfectly imperfect. Can you teach me how to uh, nurture the sound? Just like this. Oh, wow. Damn. Wait, can I try? Just hit and then press just a little bit and then going around here. Grab the stick in the middle. Here. Like that? Yeah, press in just a little bit. Uh, if you, you do meditation with this one, uh, first one you can go to left side. To left side? Yeah, for less the negative energy uh, of in your body to one side. After that, uh, you can go to right side to call positive energy from the outside, uh, from the outside to inside your body. Mm. Your body. 
the left side first and then the right side. Yeah. From my Z, this is positive, this is negative. Okay. Interesting. But you have to really press it? Yeah. Press right? it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Good. Got it? More press. Yes, I won't take it. Okay. I'll practice. I'll practice <laughs> in my house. I will definitely do that in the morning and night. I meditate in the morning and night, so I would love to do that. And whenever I feel like a bit, you know, releasing, coming back. So spiritual. Was it so close? Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate your help. Yes. I will practice the uh, whole thing. Okay. Yeah. You can. Have a good night. You too. Arigato, yeah? Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. Mata ne. Mata ne. Bye bye. Thank you. Very, very nice people. And this is what I'm saying. Like, if we all want to accept it in a way that is very authentic but it, it shouldn't be like lingering it's not about a lingering in the conversation and then going into you know swapping instagram and all that shit but just simply being present in the moment and being accepted the way that we communicate from a different country in a different background and cultural aspect and all that and that what is missing in most of the country is because a lot of people are so caught up with what they want and they don't really empathize you know, what other people are feeling which I understand because they don't have enough space within so they just cannot think of anything else now I've got a singing bowl which means I will be singing good morning guys this is our last day. Check this out. It's what, 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, we're going to sip some coffee, get caffeinated, and just enjoy the view. Just enjoy the view. Oh, I should have got the singing ball. Oh, that's nice. Cheers. Ah. So apparently yesterday we were chatting with a beautiful woman that was sitting here and according to her, that villa right there, there was a David Boy, Mick Jagger and all these huge celebrity but the history and music industry stayed in that villa. And this villa is called Tamam Bebek. I'm not that right, like I'm pronouncing right. And so she, she knew a lot of things in Bali, because uh, she was in Bali as well. And she told me that this is one of the only two villas that has the traditions. And it's not too luxurious or too modern. That two of the, uh, one of the two, uh, only two in, in, uh, in the entire Bali, or perhaps in Ubud, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, like, as you can see, the garden is well designed and the villa is not too clean, if I say, and not in a bad way. It's, it's more like part of the nature, you know, part of the experience that we enjoy so much with. That we can look outside without the window, we can take a shower, and it's just the entire experience was just so good. So check it out, it's called Tamar Bebek. Uh, it's not advertisement or anything, but I think we genuinely enjoyed the views and the pool and the stuff are very nice. So I highly suggest if you're open to a little more nature oriented um, experience rather than just like, you know, more than hotel. So, bon appetit guys. We're going to the, uh, we're going to the waterfall. So we're gonna, we're gonna eat quickly and then we're gonna get to the waterfall. So let's get it. Oh yeah.
All right, guys, we are at the Nung Nung waterfall. We're gonna have some dope shot in here. Let's have a look. And apparently, the lady down there, she told me that there will be so much water today, which is gonna be like, you know, huge captivating waterfall that we probably be able to witness. So let's get it. Let's get it. Oh. She said it's only like a 10 to 15 minutes go down. So it's, it, it's not that bad. Do you hear the sound? That's a massive sound. The water is coming. The water is coming down. It's the sound is huge. I think it's going to be a massive waterfall that we're about to witness. And you see the sun is shining. The sun is shining, baby. It's a blessing. It's a karma. It's a prayer. <laughs> Check this out. I'm like, wow. wow. I'm fucking surprised. Like, I'm amazed. I'm genuinely amazed. Look at this. What? Bro, this is crazy. Wow. This is crazy. So much power. I think we're gonna get rid of the microphone because we don't we can't hear shit anyway. Let's do a creative creative shot. This is insane. This is. It's oh. very unique fruit, yes. You can check from here. In the oh. Yeah. It's a good fruit. It's a special fruit in Bali, local fruit. Mm. Like durian. Like this durian. A, see it? Like lettuce. Oh. Yeah, this looks good. Mm. That should be good. Good. It's a very cheap for one kilo, only 50,000. It's good. In Spain, 400,000. So here it's cheap. And here it's cheap, oh. only 50. Another place in your country, how many price for one kg, one kilogram? What? In your country? I don't know. Do we don't we don't have that. We don't oh, have mangosteen yeah. at all. In Thailand, no, but maybe China? maybe um maybe like a, a hundred thousand. Hundred or hundred is cheap. Some people from Spain tell me here this in Spanish for one kg four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. Yes. Wow. Around 40, 40 dollars, 40 dollars. Oh, what is that one? This one is passion fruit. Ah, passion fruit. Yeah. Passion fruit? Yeah. yeah. Can I have one? It's a good for me juice. Yeah. Like that, maybe you want to get a mangosteen, little small one, more uh, to lot mm. in kilogram. Around 15 pieces in kilogram. It's a little oh, wow. sweet and sour. That looks nice. Sheesh. Thank you. I love passion fruit and mangosteen. Yeah, later like you can buy for one kg, two kg for mangosteen. I love passion fruit. There's only passion inside of this fruit. Yeah. Sweet and sour. <laughs> like me. Yeah. It's so good. Press. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I put on the tree, mm. my friend, and then sell here. It's a very press all, press mm. local food. Nice. So good, yeah. and there's a lot of it. The one, um, the one I ate Thailand, this it, it wasn't that much. Yeah. Now, check this out. It's the restaurant that we came actually when we got here. It's the next to our hotel, absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful view. Mm -hmm. 
a spectacular view. The food was great. We clearly didn't shoot beforehand, so it's kind of messy. But the food was great. I'm so full now. We're going to sip some coffee, get caffeinated before on the way home. Because it'll be like, what, two hours, right? We have to stay focused, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned. No, I don't think I need to say that. So now, uh, there's three food days. <laughs> food coma. Food coma, <coughs> there's a three days in Ubud. We enjoyed it every minute of it. You know, it started with the score, like heavy rain. We got soaked on the way, like literally, we started it, let's go, and then boom, the rain happened. And we got soaked in the first 30 minutes, washed away, you know, all the unnecessary stuff to get into the Ubud. And yeah. Be blessed and the waterfalls, the rice, the rice fields, and we met a lot of good people too. It was just beautiful. But it was a bit hectic though, I'm not gonna lie, it was quite a hectic day. Like, we just like, you know, working, 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 shooting content, and I also have to shoot, uh, film some YouTube for, you know, the, not, the, not only the vlog, so it was a lot of like work. But this is, this is the reason why I do what I do and I love the way that I do it because, I mean, every work is tiring, right? But it's, I, I believe that I'm so blessed to be able to do this. So it feels really good to be able to do that and to be able to really do it passionately and deliver a really great content that actually helps people rather than, you know, just you watch some fucking vlog and you learn nothing. Uh, and that's my intention. Like I want even the vlog to be educational as much as I can be. And while you enjoy the, the views and, and all the things that I do, and it's kind of like a behind the scene as well. So I want you guys to also, so I want you to also be able to see, you know, how I, we make content, how I make content and personally. Cause I usually, you know, bring like all this like heavy fucking shit with microphones and camera tripod today I don't have a camera because Yosuke has it so you know it's, it's it's a hassle it's a lot of work to actually get a beautiful shot and that's why we're worth it you know no pain no gain all right we're going to go back to Kulubud no sorry now we're going back to Uluwatu wrap it up then hi um, so sick of you! <laughs> no, seriously, I'm really sick. But we're going to go to the gym and walk out and get strong like a G. Yee! Let's get it. I'm hyped up. Check this out. This has been my drug. I was lying to people and said everybody are clean, but I'm drinking this drug, which is the honey, ginger, herb. I don't know what else, but it actually tastes good. If you come to Indonesia and if you're sick, I would highly suggest, but you have to get the box stuff. It's like entire box is like 60K uh, Indonesian rupee. But it tastes actually really good. And I've been drinking a shit tons of it. So we're gonna go to the uh, gym. And wait, before that, we need to get some sips and coffee. I need caffeinated. We need to get caffeinated, eat some acai bowl. I think it helps. And we're gonna do the workout. Let's go! Check this out, guys. It's huge. <laughs> I need a protein to recover my sickness. Yeah. Also, it's in the cheese. Mm. I'm ready to walk out. I'm ready to walk out. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now I'm alive. This is huge. By the way, I've heard from this bodybuilder guy. Apparently, if you drink a protein shake, only 16% of the protein, or whatever, whatever the amount of juice intake, only the 16% of it goes into your muscle tissues. If you eat eggs like a pure egg, where they just scramble like the sunny side or whatever, 40% of it goes into the muscle tissues and everything. So that's why we try to eat as, egg, as much as eggs as I can. So no food. Good stuff. Oh, it tastes really good. Workout's done, baby. Let's go. I am ongoing sick, but I feel good. So let's get it. We're just gonna go to uh, the restaurant. Three of us gonna eat some lunch, protein, and you are going home. Sad, sad. That fact that we have to expect them to accept. Most of the part in our reality is not that happy. Yeah,